In this video, you will learn how to read the EOS Roof Position Binary Code. This information is viewed in the Roof Electronics Module Measuring Value Block 002. We are using a 2011 EOS in this video. On 2008 and older EOS models, there will only be 12 bits of data. Starting with the 2009 year model EOS, a new sensor, the G672, was added, thus a 13th bit is found. Let's watch live data as the top cycles open, then closed. Now that the top is closed and secured, let's run through the 13 bits and what they represent. Bits 1 and 2 are for sensors G556 and G557, located in the windshield frame. Values of 1 mean the roof pillars are docked in the windshield frame. Bits 3 and 4 are for sensors G560 and G561, located on the rear window frame. Values of 1 mean the rear window frame is closed and locked. Bit 5 is for the G562 located on the rear window frame hinge, left side. A value of 0 means the rear window frame is not in its open roof stored position. Bits 6 and 7 are the G563 and G564 located in the trunk area. Values of 1 mean the trunk lid is locked. Bits 8 and 13 are the G565 and G672 sensors. They are located on the roof frame assembly. Values of 0 mean the roof package is not in the stored position. Bits 9 and 12 are the G566 and G567 located on the roof package frame. Values of 0 mean the roof pillar flaps are in a closed position. This also lets the roof electronics module know that the trunk lid is not tilted back. Bits 10 and 11 are the G558 and G559, located at the ends of the roof pillars. Values of 1 mean that the roof pillars are locked to the windshield frame. Now let's break down the steps of the top being opened. Starting with the windows up and the sunroof closed, the operator pushes down on the E137 switch on the center console. The windows roll down and the sunroof starts to open. Locks securing the rear window frame are released. Bits 3 and 4 change from values of 1 to 0. The rear window frame starts to swing up. As the rear window frame swings up, mechanical locks located in the leading edges of the roof pillars are released. These locks secure the roof pillars to the windshield frame. When they unlock, fields 10 and 11 change from a value of 1 to 0. The rear window frame continues to swing up to its final stored position. When this happens, bit 5 changes from a 0 to a 1. Now the roof electronics module is ready to swing back the trunk lid. It releases the locks that secure it. Fields 6 and 7 change from values of 1 to 0. The trunk lid starts to tilt back. As the trunk lid tilts back, the spring-loaded roof pillar flaps start to open outward. The roof pillar flaps have cables that connect them to the trunk lid hinge assembly. Once the roof pillar flaps are completely out, bits 9 and 12 change from values of 0 to 1. Since the trunk lid controls the roof pillar flaps by the cables that connect them, this is how the roof electronics module knows when the trunk lid is in its full tilt-back position. When the roof pillars pull back from the windshield frame, bits 1 and 2 changed from values of 1 to 0. 
Once the roof package is stored in the trunk area, bits 8 and 13 change from values of 0 to 1. On the 2008 and older EOS models, there was only one sensor used to let the roof electronics module know when the roof package was in the stored position, and there is no bit 13. Now the trunk lid starts to tilt forward. The roof flaps are pulled back down by the connecting cables. Bits 9 and 12 change back to values of 0. The trunk lid returns to its normal position and is locked down again. Bits 6 and 7 return to values of 1. This completes the opening cycle. Let's now look at the current binary data with the top open and stored. Bits 1 and 2, the G556 and G557 sensors are reading values of 0, meaning the roof pillars are not docked to the windshield frame. Bits 3 and 4, the G560 and G561 sensors are reading values of 0, meaning the rear window frame is not in a closed and locked position. Bit 5 is a G562 sensor and reading a value of 1, meaning the rear window frame is in the open roof stored position. Bits 6 and 7 are the G563 and G564 sensors for the rear lid trunk locks. Values of 1 mean the trunk lid is locked. Bits 8 and 13 are the G565 and G672 sensors. Values of 1 mean the roof package is in the stored position. Bits 9 and 12 are the G566 and G567 sensors. Values of 0 mean the roof pillar flaps are in the closed position. Bits 10 and 11 are the G558 and G559 sensors and are reading values of 0, meaning the roof pillars are not locked to the windshield frame.